We're back, some more Union Chronicles. Um, we're going across the map, and now I've got to run back. Uh, I could continue the main quest, but I really want to... There's another person, you know, we found the librarian character in that first city. And I want to go back for her. And I really... That's weird looking little dungeon thing looking you over there. Keep me safe, yes? I do wish that move would actually take stuff down. Took two of them down though. Yeah, I took them all one round. Only got hit once. That's, That's not bad. We'll get. take that. See, I don't know how Gar and Noah are ahead of you now. I don't understand. I don't understand how this. I don't understand how leveling works. It's very weird. How XP. In my opinion, it's very weird. Done, unfortunately. Oh, that miss. That miss hurt. One good thing, the you. one good thing about nice. is that she does improved. get first attack most of the time. This is the one really good thing about her. There's town we're supposed to go to. I want to go on over here first though. The other thing I'm <laughs> Down one round. Count as exercise. I thought this. I don't know. I think this is north. I was thinking that that would be the north woods. Am I wasting time here? I don't know. The great, the great Woods South. Hmm. I don't know. I don't. I don't see. Where I'm supposed to go for that. So let's just head back over here for now. See, it's hard to tell.
So he won't even show you all the spots here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's stuff down here that I cannot even see in the bottom part. Is the map, the mapping system is really, really not great. And, and like, knowing where you're, like, I have a goal. I have a story quest, but it doesn't tell me where any of my side quests are. Like, where I'm supposed to go for that. Uh, whatever. Big mistake. I'll kill you. Oh, 171 was a good hit. Two fifty three, that was a really good hit. Not even worth sullying my blade. I just keep it better. Okay, well we're not gonna we're gonna have to Probably should have stopped in the town and talked to her again, but let's go here. <coughs> Bunches of birds. Oh, there's some with the with the loot, looks like. So, there's some definitely some unique looking people already here. The loot person, I have a feeling, is somebody that's unique. But. So, this is Haishan. Sure is. I'm guessing we'll find Lady Periel either at the palace or the inn. The inn? She booked the biggest room they had. Didn't want to stay at the palace in case the walls had ears. Gotcha. Then let's go find her. Nobody home, huh? <laughs> That's weird. I think it, that means it's supposed to be, there is somebody here from time to time. Cause I never had it say that before. Oh, there's a yellow cat. There's the smithy, so I definitely need the smithy, I think. Kind of expensive here, isn't it? We should get some some pretty good damage out of this thing. Pretty I don't understand why some of the weapons are weapons attack six, and like some, why some of them are so much lower. Like that's twenty eight, and hers are, hers is nine. I don't understand. And you have a lot of you have a lot of people you have to upgrade weapons for too. You know, equipment can be shared, but these weapon upgrades are per person. Yep. 
How's that? The Alliance seeks to hire a culinary mind. Huh, hmm, yes, an intriguing thought. Alas, I'm already on a mission to find a recipe for the legendary dish known as Grilled Tatuva. I'm told the people who devised it are all bark and, um... Well, that's it, actually. All bark. Yeah, whatever could that be referring to? <laughs> okay, so the tree people. Did I get that recipe already? Oh, I must find the Grilled Tatuva recipe! Oh! No. I just wonder if you can find these things before you run into the the people. Uh Reinforced buckler. Oh. It's weird that he loses so much of his speed. Can't buy that. Can we sell here? Is that word? Is that anything? I really don't want to sell those things, I'll be honest. Hmm, nothing there I need either. can't really see people down here, so I have to go in here and check. Make sure you're not missing any. Oh, there's a loot guy. Oh. I really figured that would be one of the... That must be a... I bet you that's a... a one that Kickstarter people. Because it has a full name. and They're very unique. Fishing guy. Is he one of our? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, there, friend. You like to fish? I'm a fan of the rod myself. Oh, my God. I used to love to fish back in my home village, but I don't even own a pole anymore. Shame. Even the greatest fisherman won't be catching much with just his hands. Here, take this one, friend. I can tell you're a good man, because no bad man's a fan of the fish. Bamboo rod. Hey, can I ask a favor of you? Sure, friend. What do you need? I'm recruiting new companions for the Alliance. Would you have any interest in joining us? The Alliance. Ah, you're that, Noah. And you're asking me to join you? I hear you, but I don't know how the current flows around that one. Or maybe I do. Tell you what, friend. Catch me a wheel eye bream, and I'll sign up on the spot. Catching one of those is a sign of good luck. So, if the wheel I bream are biting for you, it'd be a clear sign of the way fate is flowing. Okay, so... I don't, I don't really 
understand. I don't want to leave. Welcome back. Can we afford the end now? I don't know. Oh, there's a drinking guy over there. He's probably one of our people. <laughs> what did he say? Don't you have any? I don't know. I don't know what you mean by that. Lemon honey pickles. Okay. Alright, let's go talk to the drinking guy over here. Yep. Some good booze. Tastes even better on a day like this. Excuse me, are you the famous spearman Ryufan? I heard talk of your exploits in town. Uh, yeah, I think. I, well, if what? the likes <laughs> you have heard of me, then I suppose I must be famous. I am currently seeking stalwart companions. Can I interest you in joining the Alliance? You wish to be companions, lad. I don't suffer fools who are weaker than I. If you wish to face me and find out if that includes your sorry self, well... Ah, normally I'd give you a thrashing, lad, but I'd hate to see you trip and twist a finger or something. Come back when you're less of a weedy runt. Ah, no. Okay, so we can't recruit him yet. Need to, I guess, level up some more. Let's go into the inn, I guess. So this is where Peri uh, where Lady Periel is staying. I have had it up to here with the local aristocracy. It's as though they think of nothing but themselves. Milady, perhaps you might lower your voice? Ugh, why bother? If there are spies afoot, I will happily scream my thoughts into their ears! Ask yourselves this, spies! Which do your masters value more? Their country, or their personal wealth? Now come, Janquis! Noah, Sabine, impeccable timing. It's good to see you safe, Perry. <laughs> and why wouldn't I be? I had my secret passage, remember? Now then, I understand you're doing a fine job with my resistance army. Tell me everything. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> so that's what you're calling the castle now? You like it? A passable name, I suppose. Milady, I believe it's time. Ah, indeed it is. Noah, come with me. We'll be joining a conference between King Yuma and his Chamber of Lords, strictly as observers, I'm afraid. But I still wish for you and the others to attend me. Save for Jenquis and Sabine, who shall remain here and set up a means to communicate with Emir back at Castle... Castle... Uh, castle whatever. 
Can't imagine anything more boring than a council, so glad to be counted out. She has a nice sprite there, I have to say. I guess I um, I guess it's not really called a sprite here, is it? Traveling with you? Not to question you, milady, but would you not prefer me at your side? Do not treat me like a child, Jane Quiss. Now, relay my dinner order to the kitchen as we discussed. Uh, and tell the cook to use a little spice this time. Sorry, where are we going exactly? To the palace! It's on the north side of town! Hmm. Oh no, I can't afford to stay. Well, that's not good. We are working diligently. Would you like to change your red? Welcome, Countess Periel. You may enter. My thanks. That's cool. I'm glad it's just called the Palace, and not like some kind of name. I guess I should have named the castle Castle. <laughs> so, what's on the table for this big shindig? A letter has arrived from Dukes Aldric, in which he proposes a new relationship between you, Chris, and Galdia. Which I take to mean leaving the League of Nations and joining the Empire's side. Betray the League? What kind of scoundrel would agree to that? Listen to you! You've the fire of a resistance leader already! And you'll soon see for yourself what manner of scoundrel would scheme such a thing. Pray excuse our tardiness. Ah, uh, there you are, Periel. We're just, uh... Well, it's good of you to come. Right this way, if you would. Of course, Mere Majesty. Ah, Countess Groom, you must be quite the important woman indeed to keep his majesty waiting. No, no, it's all right. I promised her I'd wait, and, uh... Nevertheless, permit me to remind you of your position. You have been invited here to observe, and only to observe. And who, pray tell, are these people my humblest apologies lord harlan if i may your majesty i would like to present commander noah the young founder of the resistance army <laughs> or nay founder of the alliance a group which seeks to defend the league of nations from imperial invasion resistance army is it um, well, I, I don't... And let me present myself! I'm Leon, and I'm basically his second-in-command. An alliance? Well, that sounds most prompt. Ahem! Let us move on to the matter at hand, your majesty. 
Duke Aldrich of the Galdian Empire seeks an alliance with us, and we must decide if we will accept his terms or no. I believe the Dukes to be a rising star within the Empire, and think there is much we could learn from his bold leadership. I see this offer as a major opportunity for you, Chris. Especially compared to some up-jumped mercenary and whomever else comprises his alliance. Are you mad? This is the same brazen tyrant who invaded Groom. His true intentions could not be more obvious. <laughs> Countess Groom, may I remind you that you are an observer here and nothing more? I expect you to restrain yourself in the presence of his majesty. Ugh. Sorry, Periel. Um, but Lord Harlan, I think, uh, well, maybe there might be some merit to what Countess Groom has to say. Ah, oh, but this is distressing indeed, Your Majesty. You know I have worked tirelessly for you, Chris, ever since your father sat the throne. Yes. I have long been one of House Sharith's most faithful servants, and yet now you claim to have no faith in my perspective? Never mind that House Fallmire nearly beggared itself to support this country in its year of famine. Take heart, Lord Harlan. King Yuma knows well both our family's loyalty to the realm. I'm sure he did not mean to dismiss your many great deeds. No, of course not. We should act in due haste to inform Dukes Aldrich that we agree to his terms. Hold on! Now hold on! You're just gonna surrender to him without a fight? <laughs> ah, such ignorance speaks volumes about you, boy! No one is saying anything of the sort! Dukes Aldric has kindly extended to us the hand of friendship and unity. If you would speak of war, then tell me what guarantee we have that Eucris's army would prevail. We cannot permit our great nation to fall while under your majesty's watch. Y yes but Cassius? You need only to give the order, your majesty. And I shall battle the Empire with everything I can muster. <laughs> and what then, General Cassius? Can you promise us victory? Can you guarantee His Majesty that we will emerge triumphant? <sighs> the Galdian Empire is more than just Dukes Aldrich. They have the renowned General Goldwyn as well. I would be a poor military man indeed to assure ultimate victory. There, do you see? No assurances. And if General Goldwyn were faced with our General Cassius, would he promise the Empire victory? What? <laughs> it's a fair question, don't you think? Even the best generals know there are no guarantees on the battlefield. And in fact, they likely know this fact best of all. Of course, all I know of the matter is what I've read in books. General Cassius, however, speaks from decades of experience. But perhaps, Lord Harlan, you have another opinion? Do you believe our esteemed General Cassius is guaranteed to lose? <laughs> uh, well, I... Well, Harlan? No! No, of course I don't believe that! But this argument is mere sophistry. It has nothing to do with the topic at hand. Melridge, you were summoned here to draft our reply once this matter was settled, not to sow doubt in his majesty with rhetorical nonsense. 
Quite right, quite right. I do apologize for any confusion I may have caused. That said, there is still time before Duke's Eldrick will expect our reply, and His Majesty seems exhausted. Shall we table the matter for today? But... <laughs> Your Majesty! Oh, um... Yes, I think so. Let's give it a little more time before we decide. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? It's been an entire week of that. Ah, uh, but aren't you and the king supposed to be friends? Groom and you, Chris, have enjoyed favorable relations for generations. And I visited many times as a child. We are acquaintances of old, but I would not go so far as to say friends. You, Chris, you see, is one of the three great powers of the League, along with Northstar and the Dragon Newt Nation of Kinon. My little groom is of minor significance in comparison. Nevertheless, I am told that at the untimely death of Yuma's father, the Queen hid herself away in grief. And now, Yuma has come to ascend the throne. He and I come from very similar circumstances. Yet you have such different personalities. Hmm? Uh, yes, well, even as a child, Yuma was never very decisive. You think maybe he's afraid to defy that Harlan guy? To be fair, the previous king was quite beholden to Harlan. That is why the man was first given his station. A station he has leveraged for all it's worth. <sighs> anyway, we should not tarry here long before returning to the inn. I have no desire to run into Harlan again. Wanna poke around a little until it's time to go? That, I mean, I guess that means you're going to. Wait, what? Okay, so I can't really add anybody right now. But then you have already got... Okay, is that someone that I get later? He didn't have a picture though, so I'm kind of thinking not, but... I don't know. Very odd. I don't like... I don't like buildings with nothing in them. And I'm puzzled by that one down there that they told me was empty. But there were... That was weird, because you go into empty buildings in here, and that's the first time it's ever told me that there's no one there. Say, uh, you're the fellow from the Alliance, right? Uh, don't get me wrong, I, I wasn't eavesdropping on the conference. I just, uh... I happened to catch that one little part. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, oops. <laughs> Silly me. Um, I'm Yulin, King Yuma's handmaid. So, um, please don't think ill of his majesty. I know people call him indecisive, but they've got him all wrong. He's a very kind ruler, you see, and... He worries about making decisions that lead to people getting hurt. Mm. 
Okay. I don't know if she comes into the party sometime down the road. Probably when the king comes into the party, because I'm sure they will, but everybody you've kind of met like that has come into the party so far, or been an enemy. Oh, there's somebody. Oh. I just don't like empty buildings. Especially since they're... If they were all open, if every building was open you could walk into, I could understand why someone would be empty. But since only certain ones you can actually enter, it doesn't make any sense for, to me for them to be empty. Team, so. Alright, let's move on. Did I have to go back here again? It's weird. Where have you been? We should return to the inn at once so I can continue brooding about a solution to this problem. Do you think there even is a solution? Well, I guess we could... Wait, no, sorry, I got nothing. Countess Periel, His Majesty Yuma is here to speak with you. May I open the door? Of course. Please, enter. Hello, Periel. I had a little extra time and was hoping I could see you. I'm most pleased you've come to visit. I only wish it could have been for one of our usual goodwill summits, instead of this most unfortunate situation. Oh, um, yes, of course. I'm terribly sorry about your country. <laughs> your name is Noah, yes? Did you rise up to fight for Pariel's sake? I rose up to stop the Empire. Oh, you don't say. Not for me? Oh, such a pity. <laughs> huh? But never mind that, Yuma. Was that like some kind of a weird romance thing you could do out of that? Let me ask you something. Not as the Countess of Groom, but as someone you've known since we were both small. What do you intend to do? Will you fight? Or will you place your trust in Dukes Aldrich? Well, I, uh, I just... The truth is, um, I don't know what the right choice is. If you stay the course your advisors are laying for you, you Chris will be at the Empire's mercy. No, worse! At the Duke's. But if we fight and lose, my people will fare far worse. Perhaps, um, the Duke's made a mistake in attacking your country. If so, you could maybe still talk it out? <sighs> uh, your Majesty, you're gonna be late for your next... Oh! <laughs> Is it that time already? I'm sorry, Periel. We'll continue this later. Countess Grum, Commander Noah, I bid you both good day. Ugh, same old Yuma. He never changes. We need to find some way to help make up his mind. Come on, people. Ideas. Uh, sorry, but I'm not much of an ideas man. <laughs> hmm. 
Nope, still nothing. But let's think while we walk. Maybe some exercise will knock a good idea loose. Not the worst plan I've ever heard. I really do wish it would give you like a... I really do wish it would give you like a way to track your mini quests. You know, or your your companion quests, I guess you would say. Oh, there's the house that, when I, I think that's the house down here that I'm supposed to go to. Looks like it's the one that when I walked into it said no one's home. Let's see. Let's talk to him one more time here. Ah, normally I... <laughs> so random. Is there any reason you're staring? Yeah. Did you just materialize out of thin air? Did I miss what? Miscalculate? How dare you? That's not at all what I said. You listen to me, Buster. I don't make mistakes because I'm perfect. With a sparkly, pristine capital P. Whatever you think you saw, you didn't. Right? Um, right. That's more like it. Don't you ever question a paragon. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming that that's another party member somewhere down the road. This is where that Melridge guy lives, right? Guests, is it? How unusual. Yeah, it's kind of unusual for people just walk in their house. I remember you from the conference earlier. Please, come in, come in. I see, I see. You seek some method of swaying his majesty. But why would you bring this matter to me? Because you were the one who stood up to Harlan at the conference. Ah, uh, yep. You were all like, but riddle me this, jerk. And then everyone got distracted and nothing was settled. <laughs> Yes, I suppose I did do something along those lines. I admit to being less than thrilled with the prospect of giving Lord Harlan free reign to transform our relationship with the Empire. Agreed. We cannot permit Dukes Aldrich to have his way on this. Lord Harlan has been advocating for cuts to the studium. Should he gain too much power, I might find it hard to continue living in the comfort to which I've become accustomed. Don't say. Noah, are you even listening here? This guy's just in it for himself. <laughs> Correct. Not that merely whittling away Lord Harlan's power will change much in the long run. Your name is Noah, yes? Well, there may be a way to change things if a person was so inclined. Countess, did you know Lord Harlan purchased an old manor on the outskirts of town last year from another member of the Chamber of Lords? He's apparently so fond of it that he made it his primary residence. Well, bully for him. What of it? I hear the manor has recently seen quite the stream of unfamiliar faces hailing from foreign lands. I wonder if some might be messengers from the Empire. 
At the same time, security around the manor has been tightened to the extent that actual Eucrisians are rarely allowed inside. So, uh, this matters why? He's implying that Lord Harlan bought a manor on the outskirts of town in order to meet secretly with foreign agents. That does indeed sound very suspicious. It's weird that they have a lot to this thing. And one more thing. On the southeast side of Haishan, you'll find an old part of the city known as Lost Town, which was flooded out long ago. While Harlan's house of mystery may be under tight guard, one could easily slip in by way of Lost Town, were they so inclined. How do you know all that? Oh, I've been poking around for holes in the man's armor for some time now. This guy is incorrigible. So, you're suggesting we sneak into Harlan's manor and search for evidence linking him to the Empire? I'm suggesting that if one were to find such evidence, it could be a breakthrough in terms of the pending Alliance negotiations. While I am not fond of proposing tenuous plans, sometimes needs must. Tenuous certainly beats sitting on a sofa and doing nothing. Be aware that Lost Town is said to be infested with monsters. Anyone heading there should take all necessary precautions. We'll be careful. Thanks. He said Lost Town is on the southeast side of the city, yes? Uh, yup! Now let's go dig up some dirt on Harlan! Yeah. Let's see how noble he feels when we're done with him. I think you might be losing sight of our objective here. Alright, we need to do something here. There's nowhere to even add... here Come on, T14, pretty good. Love it when they attack Gar, so. Surely needs to be in front. I had her in front, I don't know why she's not in front now. Let's head on in here. Hopefully there's a save point right here somewhere. There's a cat running though. Hoping there's a save point, because I really want to save. Yep, yeah, but there we go. This must be Lost Town. Lost is putting it mildly. The heck happened here? There was a terrible disaster. Years and years ago. It was long before my time, so I don't know the details. 
So if we make our way through this place, we'll be able to sneak into Harlan's Manor? Uh, yep, or that's what Professor Smarty Pants said, at least. All right. That's a big barrel, man. The barrel's bigger than I am. I'm gonna form party real quick. I want to get her moved. And then. I don't understand what attendants do. Dude, even though he's been resting, his hit points are still low. How is, that's that's wild. Is attendant just is attendant just a way to take them out of the party? That's what it seems like. So you can I'm assuming it's just there to where you can actually just have them on the sidelines. That's kinda cool. Alright. Anyway, we're uh we're up here for a second. Team food, awesome. All right. So how do I? How am I supposed to go over here? It's weird. Okay. Any last words? hit there. That's what you get. Alright. Okay, so we have to get in the barrel. Alright, anyway, we're going to end the video here. So I guess this one of the barrels bigger than me. <laughs> anyway, we appreciate you joining us, and we will see you next time.